wind, sky above, water. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The plague. They have all. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Yeah, I think you already know, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. The word calls you. Go to it. Gift, Dovakin, Yol, understand fire as the Dove do. Wow, you really got a hand to the gods. Don't you look at this game? Miles better. Why do you delay? Keen or not? <laughs> ah, yes, Sosedo. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Komet Deed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Ugh. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. 
Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Mm, yes and no, Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. I hope so. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Sum Ark Mora. I don't even. Drem your look. 
Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon wren in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us. Ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. 
That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. I tweaked my shoulder a bit in that last one, but I'll be fine. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a top. Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. Ah, indeed. Well, there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in a local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold. What learning there is in Skyrim is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects <laughs> will last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Nothing. But then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that Do you need something? The of the temple. There could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. If they had their way, the you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Nope. And this is what a lot of people don't seem to comprehend. There would be no freaking Cyrodiilic Empire if Talos, if Tiber Septim had listened to the damn frick Greybeards and just stayed away from that kind of stuff and sat and Wasted his life on the freaking mountaintop shouting at the sky. So, so people need to rub their brain cells together and look at stuff from another perspective instead of just blindly shouting it off and going, Well, war bad, war bad. Um, okay. Yeah, there it's a double edged it's a double edged sword. Yes. yes. Then, uh, what did you need? This time more distinct, close. What is it? Definitely not lightning. Now it was okay. orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn. So, and where are we off to now? Distinct and indistinct. Do you need something? Not thunder, but something else. Something uh, I should. Not do. much, the because there isn't really anything to do when you live on an island. And yes. On rare occasions, I did travel to Skyrim with my father, on business. 
By which I mean intimidation, scheming, bribery, blackmail, an execution or two. You know, your typical chores of a Valky Hard And patriarch. he did teach me some of those skills, if you could put it that way. But I didn't really do anything fun for the most part. I definitely didn't have a normal childhood. I guess that's what you get for being a follower of Momok Bal. Though... The Besides the typical the gardening and reading, I also did sing quite a bit. I wasn't nearly good enough to join the Bard's College, but I was pretty no, decent at it, it and it made me feel less lonely. Tell you what, give me some time to warm up a bit on the side, and maybe I'll sing something for you. Okay, hon. <laughs> 